In this video, we're going to learn a trick for dealing with unchecked checkboxes in HTML forms. Let's start with this simple HTML document. After the head section and the header, we have a form that contains a single input. This is a checkbox type input. It has a value of one and a name of allow access. This name is just an example. The form submits to a file called handleform.php and all this script does is just print out the contents of the post array. In the browser, it looks like this. If I select the checkbox and submit the form, we see the post array contains one element, with the key matching the name attribute of the checkbox, and the value matching its value attribute. However, if I go back, uncheck the checkbox and submit the form again, the array is empty. This is because the browser does not send a value for an unchecked checkbox. Let's try that again with the network monitor enabled. Let's go back, check the checkbox and submit the form. In the form data for the request, with the checkbox checked, we can see the form data contains a value for the checkbox. If we go back and submit the form without the checkbox being checked, we can see the request is empty. This can be a problem on the server if you want to access a form value directly in the post array. For example, let's print out a line break, then the value of the array element that corresponds to the checkbox. If the checkbox is checked, this isn't a problem. We see the full array and the individual element. However, if it's not checked, you get an undefined index error, as the array element with the key that corresponds to the checkbox input name doesn't exist. To fix this, we can take advantage of the way PHP handles array elements that have the same key. Consider this code. We're assigning an array with one element called name to a variable. When this code runs, the variable will contain this array. However, if we add another element to this array, and it has the same key, the value assigned to the variable will only contain the second value in the array. This is because arrays in PHP can't have two elements with the same key. If you assign more than one value to the same key like this, only the last value will be used. So how can we take advantage of this for the checkbox problem? The solution is to put a hidden field before the checkbox field with the same name as the checkbox and the value you want to submit if the checkbox isn't checked. Note this trick only works with form fields that aren't arrays, in other words the name isn't followed by empty square brackets. So if we submit the form with the checkbox checked, the array contains just one value and we can access it directly. If we look at the request though, we can see that two values have been submitted for the allow access field. The first the value of the hidden field, which is 0, then the value of the checkbox, which is 1. When PHP puts these values in the post array though, only the second one is saved. However, now if we go back and submit the form with the checkbox unchecked, we no longer get the error as the array contains the value from the hidden field, so we can access it in the post array directly. So any time you want to have a value in the form data on the server for an unchecked checkbox, 
put a hidden field before the checkbox with the same name. The value of this hidden field is what will be available on the server if the form is submitted with the checkbox unchecked.